So we got news a few days ago um, that David Sobolov, um, who I think many of you know as the voice of Depth Charge and Beast Wars and Shockwave and Transformers Prime, is revealed that he was voicing a character in the upcoming Bumblebee movie, which is coming in December. And I think it was just today he announced that he's playing the role of, of Blitzwing in the film, which I think is really awesome um, to have another a voice actor who's who's voiced in Transformers uh, shows before. Uh, and like he's a really, he's a really great voice actor. Um, he's in loads of things now. Like he's the voice of uh, Grodd in the Arrowverse um, television series. The you know many many of the Flash, but also uh, Legends of Legends of Tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this news is so great because um, it's great to have him coming back, voicing a different character this time, uh, which is Blitzwing. Um. I think, I think like many other um, fans, I'm I'm really torn about the character of Blitzwing because he looks very Starscream esque, like with the with the head um, and the slight the the red color scheme to it, like it screams Starscream. Um, I I would be fine with it with the design. If you had a different head head design, and maybe like a, a more like military beige color scheme, um, a, a sort of a similar color scheme to, to what the previous movie Starscream um had, which is like like which is like kind of like dull beige color. I would have been okay if if they gone with that that like different color scheme and maybe a different head sculpt because that head sculpt looks very star scream esque um but at the same time uh, i'm not I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna diss on it too much because if you look at movie star scream himself he looks nothing like what we know of star scream with the with the color scheme or he doesn't even have his null ray uh blasters or like the the kind of like winged the wings the back um like he's norm like he normally has. But yeah, I think this is I think this is awesome news. I'm definitely gonna keep an open mind with the Bumblebee film because it's because it's set before the films and it looks like it's gonna be, it looks like it's really gonna be a bit more a bit more I I guess scaled down in terms of what's happening in the films. If you look if you look at uh the sequels to the original film, like they were very big scale like battles and wars um like if you look if you look at dark of the moon for example that that was a very big scale kind of uh film in terms of the war in um i think it was detroit i could be wrong but like it, i guess like it's going back to kind of like a, a small like a sort of smaller scale kind of um film like it's got a smaller budget and um yeah so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to it um so yeah, thanks for watching.